Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley Morgan and we're here for another installment of what I made on Instagram this week. If you don't know, I create content on Instagram, mostly cooking videos for my catering page and I just kind of like to share what I made. Although I do post shorts on here, I think it is very, it's kind of just easier for me to just post the actual videos as well so you can see like the full in-depth tutorials on how I made things. This week we made spicy chicken patties, cocoa bread. I showed you guys how I made some jerk chicken lasagna roll-ups. And we also made this General Stoves tofu salad. It was bomb. So let's get into it. So first we're gonna start off with our cocoa bread. This was actually my first time making it and I do wanna try this again. So in a bowl, we're gonna add some coconut milk, butter, and a little bit of sugar and we're gonna warm that in the microwave until it is melted. Then we're gonna throw in some active dry yeast one egg, some flour, and we're gonna sieve that into the bowl, mix that together until it is combined. And then on a clean surface, we're gonna add some flour and then just begin to knead that dough. Now, this recipe was kind of tricky. You kind of want the dough to be soft. You don't want it to be too firm. So it's definitely important to not add too much flour and you still also want it to have a little bit of stickiness to it. And then I'm going to transfer that back into an oiled bowl, cover that with saran wrap, and allow that to proof for about an hour or so. After that has proof, we're going to redust the surface again, add some flour to it, take our dough back out that has proofed, and we are going to roll that out. There's a few mistakes that I realized that I made. So the first mistake I made was using a cookie cutter. I should have really separated the dough into pieces and then just roll them out. So that's something I'm sharing. I would definitely just separate into like six or seven pieces and then roll it out just that way. We're gonna take our cocoa bread and put it on a sheet pan and we're going to oil in between the folds and also on top of the fold with some melted butter. That is very important. It helps it not to stick and it also gives it that buttery flavor. And we're gonna allow that to proof again for another 30 minutes. And this is what I'm talking about. Do you see how fluffy those are? I would have definitely rolled them out a lot thinner so that they could have been a lot more, they could have just been a little less fluffy, but all in all, the flavor was on point. It was buttery, it was delicious, it was soft. So we will definitely be revisiting this recipe. And next we have my favorite, spicy chicken patty. Y'all, Fire. Listen, your 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 best patty shop has nothing on me. First time and I killed. Period. I ate. If there's no time to not be humble, it's now. I ate every single listen, golden crust, see about me. Let me perfect your recipe because this right here, fire. So in this pan we have some ground chicken. I do not care for beef. And we're gonna saute that. We're gonna add in some sofrito and some green seasoning, some allspice, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and we're just gonna stir that together. Then I added in some browning. It's not necessary, it's just to give that brown color that traditional beef patties have. And I'm gonna add in a couple sprigs of thyme, some onion, scallion, bell peppers, and we're gonna mix that together, add some water into the pan. Once the water has evaporated, we're gonna go ahead and set that to the side to cool while we start working on our dough. In this pan, I have some sea flour. I'm gonna add some turmeric, some curry powder, some salt, a little bit of sugar, and we're gonna mix that together. Then we're gonna add in some grated frozen butter. You can basically just chop it into cubes, it's not that deep. <laughs> and then we're gonna add some cold water until it kind of forms just little pellets of like sticky dough. And then once that dough comes together, we're gonna transfer it to a floured surface again. And I'm gonna put it in the fridge to kind of come back together for about 15 minutes, not too long. Once that dough has sat in the fridge for a little bit and it's kind of like, it's chilled, we're gonna roll that out as thin as we can get it. We're gonna add some more frozen butter. And what we're doing is laminating this dough to add some flaky layers to the crust. If you've had a beef patty before, we all know that that thing is flaky. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to kind of recreate that. So I'm just right here creating some layers and I'm kind of folding it up into as many pieces as I can. I'm gonna put that back into that same bowl and put it in the fridge for about an hour or so. And then we're gonna roll it out. And then I'm gonna also create a couple more layers. And then I'm gonna cut this into about four pieces. 
And we're gonna dust that surface again. Make sure you dust your rolling pin too so it doesn't stick and we're gonna roll that out. Now this is what I meant when I said I should have cut my dough into pieces and rolled it out into circles when I made my cocoa bread. This makes more sense to me than what I did before. But we're gonna roll that out into a good circle-ish situation. We're gonna add our cool filling to this dough, fold it in half, and then crimp the edges. I had so much fun making this recipe. I really want to try with different fillings. Like, could y'all imagine like an oxtail? I mean, oxtail a little high right now, but an oxtail patty? Stop playing with me. Like, I might just come over here and do that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, crimp the edges. I'm just, my perfectionism, trying to, like, make sure the edges are kind of even. Put it in the oven, and boom. These are my rasta roll-ups. They didn't get cooked because this is really an experiment, and I was really trying to see what it would taste like and look like. So I didn't taste it. One of my clients tasted it, and um, I kind of wanted to just get, like, opinions on what it would taste like. Um, I actually will probably go ahead and redo this recipe in a thorough detail and actually show some pictures of it. But this was not necessarily meant to be recreated. It was just me kind of just getting on video what I did. And I just wanted to share it. In a pan, we're going to add some oil. We're going to add some thyme and let that sit for a little bit and kind of, you know, infuse the oil. Then we're going to add some bell peppers, onions scallion, scotch bonnet pepper, and we're gonna saute that. Then we're gonna add some jerk seasoning. I make my own jerk seasoning, but you can literally buy the jerk seasoning in the store. Then we're gonna add some heavy cream and then our rotisserie chicken. This is rotisserie chicken that I made. You can just buy a whole chicken from the store and you know, shred that up. It's really up to you. Or just use some leftover chicken. Who, who, who's gonna know? <laughs> <laughs> then we're gonna add some parmesan cheese and kind of just let that sit come together and let the flavors marry and then boom we have our jerk chicken alfredo situation i'm gonna add some spinach to that and then i'm gonna take it off the heat and allow that residual heat to cook down that spinach we're gonna set this aside to cool and once it's cool we're gonna then take our fresh lasagna sheets i buy mine from the grocery store i don't make them um, i prefer these over the ones that you boil they just taste better to me we're gonna add in our rasta filling and then we're gonna add in a little bit of mozzarella and manchego cheese and roll it up and we're just gonna keep rolling until we get to having enough then we're gonna add some of that sauce to the bottom go ahead and add our rasta roll-ups into the pan i'm gonna cover it with a little bit more sauce and some more manchego cheese and mozzarella cheese and then basically that was it i didn't bake these so i didn't get to show you what it looked like when it was done but they said it was fire so that's all you need to know <laughs> and then on to the next recipe this was so good about general Stowe's salad it was really good so what we're gonna do is we are going to take our tofu my tofu has been pressed so most of the liquid is out and we're going to cut that into cubes and basically what i did was take some paper towel put it between two plates and then added a weight on top of it just to kind of get some of that excess liquid out we're going to add in some sesame oil salt and pepper mix that together and add it to the air fryer and while that's cooking we're going to go ahead and start making our sauce I use Trader Joe's sauce because it's fire. It has the perfect amount of spice. But basically what I'm gonna do is put it in a pan and heat it up. I did add a little bit of mambo sauce to it because I had a little bit left over. I wanted to get rid of it. And we're gonna just take our crispy tofu and go ahead and add it to the, the sauce and coat our tofu. And then we're gonna set that to the side to cool while we work on our salad. So right here we have some Brussels sprouts and I'm basically just shaving them super thin. You can use a mandolin or you can use a knife like I'm using, but you basically you want to get super thin slices because it just makes it so much easier to eat. In a bowl, we're going to add some sugar, sesame oil, rice wine vinegar, soy sauce, a little bit of fresh garlic, pepper flakes, and we're going to whisk that together and that's going to be our dressing. We're going to go ahead and add our shaved Brussels sprouts back into the mixture. We're also going to add some quinoa. We're gonna mix that together. You know, we're gonna use our hands and get up in there and kind of massage that in so to kind of break down the Brussels sprouts and make them a little bit more soft. And then we're gonna assemble our salad. All we're gonna do is add our General Stowe's tofu, cool down. Then we're gonna add some edamame, some mango, bell peppers, and some broccoli. Add a little bit of sesame seeds onto the General Stowe's tofu just so it has a little bit of, you know, 
pizzazz and boom salad complete salad done it was so good i hope that you guys enjoy these recipes i do have fun making them and i do have fun sharing them if you like the full recipes let me know you all have a wonderful week thank you for watching i love you guys so much deuces